Remember when Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP blew up Super Nintendo Game Universe? Yes, I remember that. So, have you organized anything for us? Yes, Incredibles Comedian. I VE organized a new holiday, and we should go somewhere really fun. Like what? Well, Incredibles World and Marissa went to the Great Wolf Lodge back in July 2020. Oh yes, I remembered it now. Next. We were joined with Agent Brozone and Incredibles Comedian and we went to see World in Orlando. Uh-huh. After that, we went to Symphony of the Seas, and then Super Nintendo Game Universe. So, where should we go this time? Um, I was thinking we should go to, um... We should all go aboard Wonder of the Seas for our vacation. <laughs> Wonder of the Seas is a great idea. We went on Symphony of the Seas when she was the newest Oasis-class ship at the time of our sailing. That's right, Incredibles World. And I went on the Oasis of the Seas when I was six years old, before Coco Key was built. We will be bringing most of the franchise characters from the Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 new TTP films. We weren't able to bring the Flynns, the Hieronos, the Johnsons, the Garcia Shapiros, nor the Fireside Girls. Because there's no stateroom on Wonder that can accommodate their party. Are you referring to the four-bedroom villa suite? Yes. It is not available on Wonder. Because the last time we had those kids on our holiday, there was only one adult with them. If we bring a lot of people, then there would be too many in one stateroom. So, who do you think will be the new troublemaker this time? Good question, Marissa. Well, I was thinking about Super Y Fan 66. I guess that would be a fantastic idea. Well, 
In case you don't know where he is, he's in my room. I'll go tell him the news. Man, I'm so bored. And there's nothing to do. Super Wide Fan 66, I have some exciting news. A new cruise ship has just been launched and will be sailing on her from Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. Oh, I'm really excited. I had also invited some other users and franchise characters to come on this trip. I am giving you 12 strikes and if you lose them, you are grounded. How will the strikes work? Baseball! Not exactly. The strikes are actually in the style of bowling, but do not try to bowl a perfect game. Oh, Paul, I'll try to be up. Good. So, let's start packing for this holiday and then we can all go tomorrow. What did you pack up? Well, mint. I can my spare clubs, my swimsuit, my bed, my charger, my jimmets, and things to take. Good. Now let's wait for everyone to clean up their messes and pack their stuff so we can get in the bed and go go go! Wake me up when we get to the airport. Okay? Okay, Jeff. Does everyone have their belts on? Yes, Greg. And will you promise not to ask over and over when we arrive at the airport? We promise, Greg. Greg. Good. Now let's get going. <laughs> Okay, B1, we're all set to go aboard Wonder of the Seas. Rat and the Teddies are waiting for us in the car. Way to go B2. Come on bananas, we've got to get going. Coming, Coming rat. rat. Okay, ever you have you finished packing? Yes, yes sir. sir. Then let's get going. Come on team. We've got our stuff packed. Let's head to Rocket to fly to Wonder of the Seas. Right, Leo. Let's, Let's go. go. To Rocket! Okay kids, we are going aboard Wonder of the Seas. And we want you to be on your best behavior. Okay, we promise. We won't forget. Good. Now let's get going. Okay, so, I am done with school for the year and now on holiday. But to me, I think it's long since I don't get to see a lot of people. I thought the perfect way to spend the holiday is to sit in front of the TV playing video games. I did that because I wasn't able to have people interaction. Fortunately, Mac has invited my family to go on another cruise ship, Wonder of the Seas. What I really wanted to do during my holiday was get together with Holly and spend my summer with her. That would be so much better than going to summer school or summer camp. All the guys staff meeting! What's the staff meeting, Woody? Today, we're going aboard Wonder of the Seas in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Really? Awesome! What? How are you going to pay for Wonder of the Seas? We're all toys. We don't have to pay. Also, we got our very own pizza plane and truck. And I will be the one driving while you and Rick can navigate me. Off, oh, guys! Enough of the chitter chatter. Let's get going! Oh, is that everybody? Yes, boss. It is. Good. Fuck everyone, have some good news! What's the good news, Sonic? Today, we are all going aboard Wonder of the Seas! Wonder of the Seas? Whoa, that's wonderful! That's right! We got our tickets for the trip! Four tickets? But where's Wonder of the Seas sailing from? Good question, Mario! It will sail from Fort Lauderdale and it will take 22 hours to get there from Melbourne! What will we do here? Well, Luigi, we will hang out together at the water park! And do some fun stuff! Oh, 
Enough with the chit chat. Let's get going, shall we? Oh, Sonic. Oh, is everybody ready? Sonic. Good. These are all the people I have invited. Super Y Fan 66, you better behave yourself when we go aboard Wonder. We're all keeping a really big eye on you. Okay, you too. And not just that, you better not end up doing the same things Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP had done. What did he do wrong? At the Great Wolf Lodge, he pranked everyone in the wave pool by tricking them into thinking that there were sharks in it. Turns out it was all a lie. Oh. And also, while he was doing the Bigfoot pass, he screamed at Bear to move over and pushed him into the water, only to have him bleeding underwater while suffocating. Luckily, I saved him before he could even drown, and finally, he stumbled upon a game in the arcade, which he kept failing over and over until he finally lost it and tried to smash the console, and thus, lighting it up on fire. And then, the fire spread it all over the indoor water park, leading it to blow up, me, Incredibles World and sadly Yo Gabba Gabba fan survived the explosion, but then we grounded him afterwards. When we went to see World, he didn't do anything much, except when he was about to destroy the Nickelodeon store, he derailed the trap of the Manta Coaster, and he also destroyed the park as he bumped into a tree, even though trees don't cause on fire, but apparently a lantern must have fell off of one of the trees, well, according to some rumors and speculations. As we went to Symphony of the Seas on our last cruise, he altered the controls of the water threshold and made the perfect storm slide point up into the sky, and he also super glued one of the slides on the ultimate abyss, and when the imagination movers took him back to the cabin, the Fortnite agents chased after him for his punishment. When we went to Super Nintendo Game Universe, he vandalized the track of the Sonic Light Cycle Rush in the Koopa Coaster, he exploded the Nintendo Parade, threw Scooby-Doo into the water, and lastly, he destroyed the park and he got sent to the sun for his punishment. That's why you're not supposed to misbehave whenever we go somewhere. Okay, for you! I'm sorry! Let's go, go, go to the airport! So, what should we do until we get there? Perhaps we should listen to some music. Do you have any requests? How about we listen to Baby by Justin Bieber? How about we listen to Sweet About Me by Gabriella Chilmi? That's a great idea, Incredible Squirrel. Ooh, watching me Hanging by a string this time Don't easily Learn. I'd rather give my jamming word 
What a great song! A really great song. The perfect song to dance to with your friends, right, everyone? Right. right. Super Y Fan 66, why weren't you dancing? Because I don't like that type of music. Come on, Super Y Fan 66. Everybody likes that type of music. Hey, what was that sound? That was my stomach. I'm really hungry. It must be lunchtime. So where do you think we should go for lunch? How about we go to McDonald's? Great idea. And don't go on any playground if there's one Super Y Fan 66. We are all adults. Okay, Matt. Hello and welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? I would like to get a hamburger with ketchup, no mustard, no pickles and no onions with a medium chips and a medium Sprite. I would like to get a Big Mac with no cheese, a large chips and a large Coke. I would like to get a 10 pack of chicken nuggets with a medium chips and a medium Sprite. I would like to get a quarter pounder, a medium chips and a large Fanta. I would like a cheeseburger with a small chips and a small Sprite. And I would like a Happy Meal, please. Excuse me, Super Y Fan 66, but Happy Meals are for kids. Remember what I told you earlier? Yes, we're all adults. Remember when Classic Kai used to a Lego set that he was too old for from Target? Yes, I do. How about you have the same items as me instead? Okay, I'll have those instead. MMMM, that fillet o fish tastes so delicious. I agree with you, Rat. It's very healthy. And it's yummy yummy. My Big Mac tastes like it's got tart sauce. <laughs> That's very funny, Super Weef in 66. I agree with Brozone. You really made us laugh. My Aussie chicken and pineapple burger tastes very delicious, we one Because it's got crispy chicken, bacon, and pineapple in it. My quarter pounder tastes very delicious, B2. Because it's got mustard, pickles, cheese, and 100% Aussie beef. Five minutes later. Hey Matt, me, why you bathroom? It's okay, it's inside but be quick, we have to get back in the van once we've finished eating. <coughs> back in the van. Okay guys, what should we do until we get to the airport? Maybe we should listen to another song. Do you have any suggestions? How about we listen to Peaches by Justin Bieber? But most of us hate Justin Bieber. How about we listen to Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd? Great idea, Incredibles comedian. And I know she'll be the death of me, at least we'll both be numb. And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay forever young. This I know, this I know She told me don't worry about it She told me don't worry no more We both knew we can't go without it She told me you'll never be in love oh, oh. I can feel my face when I'm The death of me, at least we'll both be numb. And she'll always get the best of me. The worst is yet to come. All the misery was necessary. When what deep in love? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Girl, I know. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry no more. We both know we can't go.
It's okay, we're here. Let's go in and load our bags onto the plane. Attention everyone, please load your luggage onto the conveyor belt to be sent to the plane. Please make sure you're able to walk through the metal detector. Thank you. Now I'm going! Going! Free oil! Super Y Fan 66, please don't run or else you might end up hurting somebody. Sorry Mrs. Incredible. Attention everyone, now Fred and Mrs. Incredible have boarded the plane. We better get going now. Like this plane better travel at normal speed instead of going too fast. What's wrong with going too fast? Sure you can try to get used to it? But, but, I'm not too sure about that. What do you think about it, Scooby-Doo? <laughs> Attention everybody. This is your co-pilot speaking. Once the plane is full, we'll be taking off shortly. From what I've heard, was that on the first Emperor trip? The planes went so fast that nearly everyone threw up. But on the second trip, the plane went at normal speed. Well, this plane trip will travel at normal speed, not too fast unlike how Greg and Lightning McQueen flew the plane on the last trip. Are you excited about going on a cruise ship? I sure am. I haven't been on a cruise ship in a very long time. How about you, Fluttershy? Are you looking forward to this trip? I'm not excited to go. I hope this plane doesn't go too fast. Everyone, just calm down. I know you're all excited, but some of you aren't. About going to Fort Lauderdale, but everything should be alright for this trip. Oh, how many strikes did you give me again? You've got 12 strikes before you get grounded. You better not do something annoying on the plane. I mean it. Okay, Matt. Alright everyone, get ready for takeoff. Zoni. Yes, Morgan. What are you watching on your phone? I'm watching a movie of Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP misbehaving at the second holiday, SeaWorld in Orlando. The first was the Great World Launch, then third, Symphony of the Seas, and then, Super Nintendo Game Universe. He has been causing way too much trouble on the past four trips, like causing things on fire. That was very dangerous. Yes, it was. But this time, Super Wife Fan 66 better not cause any trouble on Wonder of the Seas. And also, he better not cause anything on fire because the ship has just been launched. I hope not. Because if he does, we would have to go on any different cruise ship, such as Oasis, Allure, or Harmony. That's true. Well anyways, I'll keep watching the movie. How may I help you? I would like a hot dog, 10 chicken nuggets and hot chips, I would like a hand-dipped corn dog and cheese chips. And I would like an Aussie beef struggling, watermelon mushroom, French bean and garlic butter. I'm sorry, but we don't have that. How about lettuce and tomato burger with no cheese? Okay then. Ten minutes later. Hey Matt, where's the toy? It's okay, but don't cause any trouble. Woo! The yellow girl in the sea. Daddy Assel has an ice cream. Hey, how dare you eat Fluttershy's ice cream? Now look, you made her upset. What happened here? Somebody ate Fluttershy's ice cream. And I can guess who did it. Ah! Uh, it was me! All of that ice cream plus I think should go for everyone else. That's it. You are now on your first strike. If you lose 11 more, or in other words, bowl a perfect game, you will be grounded. We may not have arrived at Fort Lauderdale yet, but misbehaving on the plane still counts as losing a strike. Oh, cool. I promise I won't lose, man. You can't have my ice cream. 
I'm not going to finish it anyway. Oh, thank you, Rainbow. Look right here. I can't wait to get off the plane. Hug everybody. We've arrived at our destination. Please make sure you make your way safely out of the plane while me and Mrs. Incredible here will leave the plane once everyone's out. Well, that was one smooth landing you have there, Fred. Thanks, Helen. I can't wait to get back to my gang. We've got Shuggle Boost ready to take us to Wander of the Seas. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale, everybody. We're the Wiggles. And we're gonna have lots of fun. We've been working very hard booking everyone in the Royal Caribbean cabins aboard the newly built ship that was just launched, Wonder of the Seas, which is the newest Oasis class cruise ship. There's the Aqua Theatre, the Perfect Storm, the Flow Rider, the Ultimate Abyss, Central Park, the Boardwalk, the Promenade, and other activities. We would like to thank Mad for organizing this trip for everyone to enjoy themselves while we're sailing. Well done, Maid. Soon we'll be meeting our friends, Dorothy the Dinosaur. Henry the Octopus, Wags the Dog, and Captain Feathersword the Friendly Pirate. So, let's go and catch the bus first, get on the ship and then we will be giving you each a card with your assigned room number on it. On the bus. How long is this dumb prep? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get bored of it, like five seconds or something. Oh quit your whining super Y fan. We literally just boarded the bus like 20 minutes ago. Hey, you know what guys? How about we all just have a listen to some tunes? That should help pass the time. That's a great idea, Rich. But um, I wonder what song we should listen to first. The only song that I'd be able to sit through for more than 10 seconds is called 40 Dreamin'. Are you really that dumb or something, me? You should know by now how disgusting that song is. Plus, I really doubt that any of us have the guts to sit through that relish for even a microsecond. So how about you just learn to deal with listening to other songs for a change? I have to agree with Matt on this one. Sheesh, it even reminds me of when Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP used to play those awful One Direction songs around the house at the top volume all those months ago. And whenever we played a song he didn't like, he would shout, stop that music. Even to this day, I still can't get them out of my head. Hey you know what? I think I know a song that we can all enjoy. It's called We Are Giants by Billy Harvey and I thought, since it has some relation to driving on the road somewhere far, what do you guys think? Well I think that's a great idea, Greg, we are against it is- Hello to the end of the beginning of it all Summer takes a fall Winner, take it all. And if you are not understood, I understand. Goodbye to the days that we filled with make believe. As far as we could see, a possibility. We dreamed of all the things we thought we'd never do. Till the end You found a friend in me I'm always within reach We are giants And the world is smaller than we For good or for better Summer goes away, seasons have to change, we see it every day, and when we do we feel like we're the only ones. If you need a friend, to be there till the end, you found a friend in me, I'm always within reach, we are giants. Smaller than we On my shoulder You can lean on my shoulder You can lean on my shoulder If you need a friend to be there too 
till the end You found a friend in me I'm always within reach We are giants And the world is smaller We are giants And the world gets smaller We are giants And the world is smaller than we Here we are, everybody. Let's get on the ship and check into our staterooms. At last, finally. What's a really long trip? Now, now, Super Y Fan 66, we're only gonna be on the ship for just a week. I hope you all had a wonderful ride. We sure did there. You know, Applejack, this kind of reminds me of the looks to looks, minus the fact that we're surrounded by different types of characters that aren't related to us. Exactly, Rainbow. It's a good thing we still have our dress up outfits to wear. Excuse me, ladies. Could I be at the dining room table next to yours? That would be great, and Boney, it's like enjoying a second summer with you. Ten minutes later. So guys, what do you think we should do tomorrow? I know. We should go to Coco Cay because I want to go on water slides. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Sounds like a great idea. Aren't there a lot of activities in our room? Yes. There's a giant Connect 4, an interactive game table, air hockey, your own movie theater, and a piano staircase. There's also three video game consoles, a 100 square foot Lego wall, and a whirlpool on the balcony. Well guys, it's nice to be in a cruise ship standard room where it's just as toys. Um, Woody! I have a question! What will we be doing aboard the ship? We're just going to wander around the ship and go to the kids' play area so we can get played with. I'm going to sort out the buddies for this holiday. I will be with Woody, Jesse will be with Balsy, Rex, Slankingham, and the aliens will be together. Due to Patata had to die in that dream world a few years ago. His wife has to stay home due to flashbacks. I'm hoping she will be fine by herself at home with him. Unless she's got company. But at least we're all still alive. And this holiday one and as bad as dream world and Aussie world. Me and Woody, Jesse, and Balsy are mostly going to be in Paris while the rest of you can just wander around the ship. So girls, what do you want to do tomorrow? I want to go on waiter slides. I want to go on the old maid abyss. No, that sounds too scary. I don't want to go on water slides, because if I do, my hair will be ruined. Well, Rarity, we know you always hate getting wet, but you can have a look around in the shops if you want to. Oh, couple Jack. So if you're going to call Cookie tomorrow, may I look after Spike? Sure thing, Fluttershy, because we are going on waiter slides, such as the Dueling Demon and the Green Mammy. Whenever you all go on somewhere, I always need one of you to look after me since I can't go on the big slides. Rich is supposed to drop off Warehouse Mouse for us to look after also so Spike can have company. Can't you believe we're going on a cruise ship? I can't believe it. Tonight we are going up to the King of the World. That's a great idea. So that means, Sylvester, Daffy, and Platy, you will be traveling in a group of three. Sounds fair enough. I think we should go over to the sport for the head fix good ball, mini golf, and ping pong bubbles. That is a great idea. So guys, what shall we do tomorrow? We should walk around Central Park as usual. We should also check out the boardwalk and the aqua theater. We should probably play at the Playmakers Arcade. I might need some time to plan all this out on what we will be doing each day on this holiday. I still cannot believe we're sailing on a cruise ship. Isn't that cool? It sure is cool, Leo. At least we are not going on any roller coasters unlike Super Nintendo Game Universe. I have to say that the Koopa Coaster was really scary. It sure was, when we got sent flying into the air. At least we can relax while we're sailing. So guys! What do you think we should do tomorrow? Like, I think we should go right out the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet. I agree, little shaggy. Oh my god, guys, why would you ever want to get fat on a cruise ship? But does anyone else know what we can do besides food? I know, 
I want to watch the Echo Theater performances. And I want to do the rock climbing wall. Well, we will find out what everyone wants to do by tomorrow. So guys, since we don't have to look after anyone, we can do our own things and we can split up. So if we don't have to look after anyone, what should we do? How about we go on water slides at Coco Cay? I've been on Harmony of the Seas, and we went on Symphony of the Seas, and I went on the Perfect Storm water slides there, and also the ones at the Perfect Day. That is a great idea. We should also go on the Bigfoot Pass. Will you boys be performing songs on this holiday? I guess not, because we were told that only the ship members can perform at the Aqua Theater, but we can perform elsewhere. Coco Cay is a great idea. We can go on water slides and hang out in the pools. What would you bananas like to do tomorrow? I think we we'll might hang out with the Wiggles, the Imagination Movers, and Big Time Rush at Coca K. Wouldn't that be great B1? That would be great B2. But where are the teddies? They're just upstairs. They'll be joining us tomorrow too. Listen guys, Matt called me and said that we are going to look after Super Y Fan 66 tomorrow. Cool. But where should we take him to? I don't know David. But I always want to go on the Ultimate Abyss. Well I think we should take him to Coco K, because we want to go on water slides. How does that sound? Okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Great. Do we have to share rooms with Mary and Luigi? Is Tails, because it's only the two of us and Mario and Luigi are on their own and they need company. Sonic is right, Tails. It's only the two of us on the two of us. And sorry, your friends are all your friends, and you and Sonic are from Sega. We know that, Luigi. So, what's the plan for tomorrow? I don't know, Luca. I guess we could check out the delicious treats, but we need to hit Coco Key. Great idea, Alberto. How does that sound, Animaniacs? It sounds like a great idea. I also want to go on the Flower Ritter, which is the ship surfing simulator. I want to go to the Silver Beach, though, to eat some candy. I agree with White Guy. We are not eating candy all day. We are eating real food in the main dining room. Oh, we understand. So guys, where do you want me to sail first? You should sail to the Bahamas, because we will get there tomorrow. How does that sound, Legs? That's a great idea. How about when Feathersaw docks the ship at the Bahamas, do you guys want to have a swim at Coco Cay? Great idea, Henry. We should also go on the water slides. I can't wait to have fun at the pool tomorrow. What shall we movers do tomorrow? Maybe we should get off the ship and explore the Bahamas. I'm the most adventurous one here after all. We should visit South Beach. Great idea, Dave. We should go on an Imagination Movers tour but we have to get back on the ship before it sails away. Maybe we should take some photos for the holiday footage when we get back. I am going to the Humane Sevens room real quick so they can look after Warehouse Mouse. So Spike can have company. They're just two floors downstairs. He'll be right back. What do you think we should do tomorrow, Wiggles? I don't know, Greg. Maybe we should meet the bananas in pajamas and the teddies at Coco K. Or maybe we can go to the retail shops and have a look around. Or maybe we can go to the Challenges video arcade and play some games. It's up to you guys. I looked on the Royal Caribbean website and it said that there are many things to do aboard Wonder of the Seas, like some other cruise ships such as Ovation of the Seas, Radiance of the Seas, and Quantum of the Seas. I hope Super Y Fan 66 is not causing any fire just like your Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP did. Because causing this cruise ship to catch on fire is very dangerous. That's right Jeff. Because if he does, then we would have to pay a lot of money on this Royal Caribbean ship. Super Y Fan 66. The Hilly Duels will be looking after you tomorrow, so you better behave. You've got 11 more strikes before you get grounded. Understand? Yes, Morrison, I understand. Good. Anyways, we better get to sleep now. We've got a big day tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Morrison. Good night, Pat. Good night, Super Y Fan 66. Sleep tight, kids. Do not let the bad things bite. Good night, Tails! Good night, Sonic!
those croissants with Nutella shorts taste good. They sure do. But I think the Hilly Jewels are here now. Marissa, will you get the door, please? Sure thing, Matt. Hello, you must be the Hilly Doolies. Yep, and we're here to look after Super Y Fan 66. That's good, Bruce. But make sure that he doesn't cause any trouble, because he's got 11 more strikes before he gets grounded. All right, All right Marissa. Marissa. Come on, Super Y Fan 66. Let's go. I'm coming, David. See you. Bye, Slider. See you later, Super Y Fan 66. Please behave yourself. <gasps> Matt! Don't worry, I have myself. Good luck, Hooli Doodlies. We'll be there as soon as possible. Where are you taking me to fly? We're going to the Coco K water park. And you better be on your best behavior. Oh, David. I'll try. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Here we are, me hardies. The Bahamas is our first stop. Thank you, Captain. Now we can go on our adventure to South Beach. I can't wait for this adventure to begin. Let's get off the ship so we can explore the beach. I can't wait. Me too. By imagination movers. See you when you go back. brought Rally and Polly along on this holiday. It sure is great. Thank you Mr. and Mrs. Hefley for inviting me this time. I really wanted to spend more time with you Brad, and a cruise ship is a perfect holiday. It sure is. No problem. After all, Greg really wanted to invite you aboard Wonder of the Seas. It's so much better than the summer wind. played Twisted Wizard all summer. I still can't believe that we got to meet all the characters coming on this trip. I'll not pick up some cheese curls, but remember when Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 ETTP caught them into the beach pool on Symphony of the Seas? Yes, I remember. 
He did it on purpose. When I poured it, it was for entertainment purposes. Ah, this is the life. What should I do? Oh, but a whole box of chips. Let's see, Smith's, Ben's, Doritos, Cheese Curls, Chewies, wait a minute, Cheese Curls. That's it. Since the Hefleys came on this holiday, this will be fun. Look at those. A whole box of snacks. Wahoo. I love chips. Hey, where are all the Cheese Curls? I don't know, Jeff. Somebody must have taken them. Oh, boy. Not only did the cheese curls ruin their swimming, the now their bodies look like their teeth or cheese curls themselves. It changes the color of people from next to. It would then be funnier if there were seagulls around. Why is the water turning orange? I hope that's nothing to do with the long haul. Yeah, I think I'm turning orange too. I think the water is setting as well. I hope everyone gets the orange off their bodies real soon. Uh -huh. You guys look like cheese curls. The reason we look orange is because the water in the pool has turned orange. I agree with Brad. Now the pool has to be drained thanks to you. That's it. You have just received your second strike, that means you've just bowled a double. If you lose 10 more, you're grounded. Let's just go to the water slide before somebody finds out about this. Come on, people! Talk to pipe! Let's take him forward! I just want to go down the water slide! Super white band 66! Be patient or else I am taking you down the slide with me! Okay then. Yo, I mean. This is the best day of my life. I'm so glad that we are here. Oh no, I'm stuck. Four people are in the way. Great, now where's luck? That's it, I'm taking care of these four people. No way. Super Y Fan 66. You don't know what you're doing. Please don't do it. I agree with Logan. You had to injure the four people stuck in the slide. You made Katie cry. You are now on your third strike, which means you started off this holiday with a turkey. If you lose nine more, you're grounded. How about we go to the wave pool and stay? That's a great idea. That will make Katie better. So this is the wave pool, right? Yes. This is where we relax, just like at the beach. David's right. Hey guys, I think I can see the bananas. Let's go and meet them. Great idea on plan. Let's go. And you two super white fan 66. Hey cyborg, why are you lying down? I'm just enjoying the view from down here. Attention guests. The wake pool will now be playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 near the beach pool. We hope you enjoy the movie. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am B2. It is movie time. Hey Marissa, did you hear that? Yes, Matt. The movie is playing at the wave pool. Let's go and watch it. Yes, great idea. Oh no. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I hate this movie. Why couldn't it be dark? I'm the lost city of God. Excuse me, Gooey Delays. I don't want to watch a movie. That's okay, Super Y Fan 66. You can go on the water slide instead if you want to. That would be better for me. Okay then, just don't cause any trouble just like you did, otherwise you'll get a fourth strike. Okay? Oh cheese and whiskers. That rat is so hungry. I must be on my lunch break. I'm going to prank people that there are eels in the wave pool in the intercom. Ha 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 That was so funny. 
Conway hacked down the very bodies and panicked. I gotta get out of here. Ah, uh, eels, eels. Super wife fan 66, are you okay? I just heard that there were eels in the wave pool. Yes, bros. I'm alright, but I'm still waiting in line for the water slide. Excuse me, sir. Can I please tell you something? Sure. What is it? The security guards have sent something to me. You must take a look. Okay. Let's see if Super Wife Fan 66 isn't causing any trouble. Attention, everybody! There are eggs in the way of you. Please get out of the pool immediately. Thank you. Aha. I knew it. That must be Super Wife Fan 66 pranking people that there were eels in the white pool. I might call the other Hooli Doolies to come and talk to him. I've got my phone with me. Thank you for telling me about this. You're welcome. Hello Antoine, this is Bruce speaking. I'm at the white pool with Super Wife Fan 66. I just want to let you know that he pranked people that there were eels in it. I need you to come here right away, and don't forget to bring David with you. Okay, bye. Hey Rarity, we've got a problem. What's the problem, girls? We were just watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2 at the wave pool, but suddenly, someone made a prank that there were ears in the wave pool. I think it was Super Weapon 66. I think you're right, Rainbow. He's going to get his far stride. Tarek Applejack! But well, I hope the Holy Duties are still looking after him. I wonder what they're up to. Attention everybody. That was a false alarm. There were no eels in the wave pool. Someone made a prank about eels in the wave pool. We'll make sure this won't happen again. Super Wifan 66, what were you thinking? You scared pretty much everyone in the wave pool, including DW. If you didn't want to watch Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you could have just gone on the water slide instead. I agree with Aunt Wan. We've also bring the Reeds, Mario, and Luigi with us so that they can talk to you about what happened. Super Wifan 66, you have just pranked people that were dangerous sea creatures in the wave pool. Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP did it at the Great Wolf Lodge, then you've done it here, which is Coke okay? Why did you do that? Because I do watch Sonic movies. Because I want to watch Jury and the Lost City of Gold instead. Is that true? No. That is false. Just because you don't want to see a movie does not grant you the right to make pranks like that. I agree with Arthur. You are now in your fourth strike. If you lost eight more, you're granted just like Matt said. I know, right? I'm sorry for pranking you about eels in the wave pool. Let's just cut the gun out of water park. Here we are Super Wifan 66. This is the Bigfoot Pass. I've always wanted to go on there. Me too. Me three. Well then, let's go. Do I really have to do the big foot pass? Yes, yeah, Super Weef in 66. This is gonna be fun. And I'll wait for your turn. Are you cutting me? Hedgehog is between the rocks. Just wait until he falls off or he finishes. That's it, Sit. I'm going to take care of him. Don't, Don't do it. Do it. That was Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't worry, I'll save him! Well done, Tails. I think somebody pushed you off the big footpath. Who could that be? I don't know, Tails. I think it must be. Oh, that's Super Wife in 66. It must be him. He's gonna get his fifth strike. Right, Hooli Dooleys? Right, right, Sonic. Sonic. We better go talk to him. Super Weefin 66, we saw you pushing Sonic off the Bigfoot Pass. Now you have received your fifth strike. Boom. That's a five bagger. I agree with him. If you lose seven more, you'll 
know what's gonna happen. I will be ground if I lost seven more stripes. That's right. No, you dare push my best friend, the Bigfoot Pass again. Do you understand? Yes, Tails. I'm sorry for pushing Sonnet. I won't do it now. Uh, Bruce, I think you should give Matt a call. Good idea, Sonic. Hello, is this Matt? We're just at Coco K right now, but Super Y Fan 66 has been misbehaving there. He had four strikes for causing trouble. That would be great. Thanks for calling me. I'll be there shortly. Bye. Guys, I have to go back to the ship with Super Y Fan 66 for a few minutes. Just stay where you guys are. I'll be right back. Come on, Super Wife Fan 66. Let's go. We hope you learn your lesson, Super Wife Fan 66. Where are we going, Bruss? We're going to talk to Matt about your behavior at the water park. Where shall we go next, my hearties? How about we should sail over to Ocean Park? What are you talking about? Do you want to go all the way back to the other side of the world? Ocean Park is in Hong Kong, so we will have to sail really fast. Are you sure about that, Captain? I am sure that everyone will still be safe even if we sail at top speed. We will make it so no furniture in any of the cabins fall over. Attention, Attention everyone. everyone. Captain, Captain Feathers will, will be sailing, sailing ship ship at top, top speed, speed, but not, not fast, fast enough, enough to knock down anything, anything in your cabins. cabins. We will dock the ship in Hong Kong tomorrow morning. morning. Sorry, Sorry for every time zone inconveniences. inconveniences. We will still be waiting until it's daytime for everyone to disembark the ship. Now, that was fun. What should we do tomorrow? We're going to Hong Kong tomorrow, so we're going to Ocean Park. Great idea, Smitty. How about we go on the hair razor there? It's a roller coaster that raises your hair. That's a great idea. He'll pick up Warehouse Mouse from the Humane Seven's room. Thank you for looking after Warehouse Mouse for us. We really appreciate it. No problem. Do you and the other movers want to hang out with us at Ocean Park tomorrow? That would be great. We were planning on going on the Hair Razor. I heard that the roller coaster is just like the flow of hair. He'll also bring the Wiggles with us if that's okay with you. You're more than welcome to bring them if you want to. Okay, thanks. I gotta get back to the other movers. We have an ideal emergency to solve. Have fun! Who was that? It was Rich. He had us look after where Hell's Mouse so Spike could have company while he and the other movers got off the ship. Oh, I see. So we're going on the hair razor tomorrow at Ozzy Park? Yes, Pinky. We're going there tomorrow. No, that sounds too scary. I agree with Fluttershy. I don't like fast rides. You two have to face your fears when we go on the ride tomorrow. I'll try to put my head in the ride locker if there is one. I'll get the door. Who could that be in Credible's world? Oh, you must be Bruce from the Hooli Doolies. Yep, and I'm here with Super Y Fan 66. Oh my gosh, what happened? Let's talk about his behavior. Great idea, Marissa. So, how did he do at the water park? Not so good. First, he poured orange cheese curls into the pool that the Hefleys were in, then he made a crowd clog in the water slide and injured four people, then he cranked people about the eels in the wave pool while we were about to watch Sonic the Hedgehog 2, since there was a security camera watching him, and then he pushed Sonic the Hedgehog off the Bigfoot Pass, because then Tails saved him. He's now got seven more strikes left. If he loses them, he will be grounded. Right? Yes. yes. And I also invited the guests along to this trip and Super Weef in 66. We'll see once we go to the room. He's coming with me while the others stay here. Thank you for talking to us about Super Weef Fan 66's behavior, Bruce. You're welcome, guys. I got to get back to the other hooly doolies at the pool deck. I'll talk to you guys later. Have fun at the pool deck, Bruce. I will, Marissa. All right, Super Weef in 66. Let's trop trop to the guest room. 
Hey Matt, shouldn't you take him instead of Brozone? I would, but I decided that Brozone should take him for a change. Technically at SeaWorld, Incredibles World took Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP to the mysterious guest which was Shamu the Big Black Whale. And when we were sailing aboard Symphony of the Seas, I took him to a different set of guests, which were the original Fortnite bosses, which were actually Battle Pass characters from Chapter 2 Season 2. And our last trip was Super Nintendo Game Universe, which were four Super Mario characters. That's right Marissa, but this time, we invited some guests along to this trip. Who do you think they could be? I don't know Matt. You will find out soon enough ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Come, Come in. in. Oh, it must be someone familiar to you. Oh! Are they with they think they are? Oh it is, and you must be Super Y Fan 66. I'm Loser Fruit, and these are my boys, Lazabeen, Lachlan, and Musil. How did you guys get here? We have our ways. We snuck onto the plane so we could come on this trip. I agree with Loser Fruit, and I've heard that you've been misbehaving and causing a lot of trouble at Wonder Lake. And as you may know that he had 12 drives, and he lost 5, so now he's got 7 more. If he loses them, he will be grounded. Correct, Brizo. And as for you Super Y Fan 66, you will be severely punished for ruining the day for everyone. Hey guys, would you mind teaching Super Wii Fan 66 a lesson after what he did aboard Wonder of the Seas? We got it, Brazon. There's a shooting store at the window? What? what? On your marks. Get set. Go get him Fortnite streamers! I hope they do, Woody. I hope so too, boss! Watch where you're going. Super Wife in 66. The Fortnite streamers are chafed after me because I have been misbehaving a lot. Are you serious right now? Do you really think I should help you after all the trouble you caused? I don't think so. And you better not push me off the big foot pass next time. And look, they're here to teach you a lesson. Uh huh, there he is. Let's teach him a lesson. No, 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 no. Please don't throw me in the water. I will get soaked. Well, you deserve it for winning a perfect holiday. I'm going to eat you in five, four, three, two, one. Yay! 
that was the super life end of the lesson. Hey guys, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome, Sonic. Gee, I remembered playing your games when I was a kid. Yeah, I know, right? Did you know that I just came out with a new movie that was playing at the Kaka K Wave Pool? Yes, I do. It's Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And it was also nice playing your games, which was 10 years ago. It sure was music. Super Y Fan 66, you'd better not lose 7 more strikes tomorrow. Because if you do, you will be grounded. Understand? Yes, Matt. I'm sorry for losing 5 strikes. I won't lose them. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. We better go have dinner in the main dining room. And you better behave. Oh, oh, we'll be at that dinner. Well, let's go. Welcome to Royal Caribbean. How may I take your order? We would like to get the same items we had the first night we ate on Symphony of the Seas. But we have Super Y Fan 66 with us instead of Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP. Oh, I see. And just so you know, I created Super Y Fan 66. And that's also how I created Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP. That's interesting. I remember what you ordered last summer, so I will write it down. Is there a reason why you keep sniffing people? It's because they smell so good. Maybe you should be a security guard with that great sense of smell. They would make a great security guard. And a great detective. And a good food critic. Trilo thinks they're all great ideas. supposed to be what i gotta do to get you close to me if i run away tonight will you follow me come on come on come on oh yeah i see you standing there all alone, all alone. know that you've been wanting me to say hello cause when the lights start flashing everybody knows it's on it's on it's on
wonderful singing. Yeah, whatever. Those boys have wonderful singing. You see, Fluttershy, this trip is nothing to worry about. But what about Super Wife and 66 pouring cheese curls? Injuring people in the water slide. Pranking people about eels in the wave pool. And pushing Sonic off the big food pass earlier. Don't worry about that, Spike. It's all been taken care of. And that found out who was responsible for all this. Thank you for appreciating our singing voices, guys. You know, this is great that we're doing only what we're allowed to do. Unlike last time we performed at the Aqua Theater. You can say that again, James. That's just a figure of speech, by the way. We all know how bad your little habit of saying things twice can be at times. Matt? Are you still mad at me? Can it super wide fan 66? You know what you have done, so I don't want to hear another peep from you for the rest of the night. Is that understood? Yes, Matt. Is understood. Who wants to sing a song next? I do, I do, I do. Okay, everyone, who wants to hear a song? Well, after a long day at Code OK, it's nice to rock on with an upbeat rock song. I call this one, Rock-O-Matic. Looks like everyone is having fun singing songs. And if you don't want to listen to us singing, you can stay in your stateroom for the rest of the night. If you're staying for this next song, we are singing Stars in the Sky by Kid Cutie. But some characters have left, which is understandable since it's getting late. But we still have some remaining. Since it's nighttime, you can see the beautiful stars in the sky. Smile. 
What will we do today? We are in Hong Kong and we will be getting off the ship. We will be going to Ocean Park and going on the Hair Razor because Sonic and Tails want to go on there. And you better not lose seven more strikes today, because if you do, you will be grounded. Yes, and Craig at Lost World. You say that I'm too complicated, hung up and miseducated. I say 95 is overrated and we all fall down. I can't sleep because my mind keeps racing. My chest hurts because my heart keeps breaking. I'm so numb and I can't stop shaking and we all fall down. Frustration, desperation. You say I need some kind of medication. Situation, no motivation. Destination, for I feel like I'm going to get sick afterwards. You will be alright, Anthony. I'm sure this ride will be safe. I don't know about this. This ride looks pretty scary. You will be alright, Jeff. Unlike the rockin' roller coaster, the supersonic skate, and the sonic bicycle rush, this ride does not have a fast start. Well, alright then. I don't want to go on this ride. Me too. I've got plenty of bark bags with me in case anyone gets sick when we're on the ride. If you're going on the right, may I look after Spike and more house miles? Yee, Sunset, since they are too small for the big rides. Are you guys excited about the ride? Yes, we are. Me too. Oh, come on. Not a long one again. The water slide, and now the hair racer. How long is it taking? Hurry up. Super Y Fan 66, don't start to lose your sixth strike today. And besides, will you please be patient? Oh, be patient. Good. Ah, this is the life. So this is where we go swimming, right, Polly? Yes, Greg. 
Well, what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's go, go swimming. swimming. It's good to finally spend time with you all summer instead of playing video games all the time. I really like the fact we are on a cruise ship. Didn't you go on one last year? Yes I did, but a kid named Yo Gabo Gabo Fan 49 UTTP ruined the holiday for everyone. Don't worry about him. I am sure the person that Matt brought doesn't do the same thing. It's the summer that I've been expecting despite the incidents that happened yesterday. The good thing is that we have each other, and I can't think of anything better than being with you. Cruise ships are so much better than pirate ships, don't you think? They sure are. Besides, pirate ships don't go far. Speaking of pirate ships, Captain Feathersworth usually sails on one. I wonder what he is at to. It's good to have a break from sailing and have a cup of coffee. It sure is good. It's good to relax after a long night of hard work, but be careful when you're speeding that ship, like if you were driving a car. That's right Henry. If I was driving a car and not paying attention, I would have either crashed, hit a car or a pedestrian. And doing so would be dangerous. Good thing Anthony told everyone that they're going to be okay. I'm glad to hear that, but where are the Wiggles right now? They're with Dorothy and Wags, the Bananas, Amy and Lulu, the Imagination Movers, Sonic, and Tails, the Humane Seven, Brozone, and Incredibles World. I also heard that they brought Super Weef and 66 with them. I wonder what he's up to. If the line tells Marie up, I'm going past the line to make it quicker. Oh no you're not. Don't you dare. Please do not get your sixth strike. Lucas, I'm going to do a track at the hair. Razor no matter. Oh, don't do it please. Hey. Stop pushing, Stop pe pushing people. Whoa, you're going to break my tail. Super Weep 66 has gone past the line and is going to derail the track of the hair razor. Is he on now? What is he going to do? Matt, I think you should give him his sixth strike. Right, Dorothy. Just supposed to wait patiently instead of misbehaving in line. That's right. Let's go and talk to him. But we have to wait in line for the ride first. Bert Lulu, but it might take a little bit longer, so we have to wait. Derailing the track is not a good idea, B1. Not a very, very good idea, B2. 20 minutes later. I'm going to make the track fly up into the sky. Last week on the night, Nation Movers approach the final drop and scream their feet off while they're on the hair razor. Ha ha ha. Zap it. Ready, set, zap! Get ready, movers. This ride is going to be fun. It sure is rich. I better hold on to my hat because it will fall off. I wonder what the ride would be like with my goggles on, but I don't have them right now. that the track is broken. Yes, I did. It's good. Well, I guess that's the end of the ride for us. And it was nice knowing you all. What can we do for our next ride? Hey, what's that falling from the sky? <laughs> oh god, it's the imagination movers. And they're going to skid on the ground in the park. Quick Violet, save them before they crash. I got it Dash. Don't worry movers, I'm here to save you. There you go movers, now you're safe and sound. Are you guys okay? Oh we're fine little boy. How did you guys get off the track? Long story short. 
but while we were riding the hair razor, we saw a broken track and we flew so fast and ended up here. Can you movers get off the car so I can take it back to the ride station? We'll get out of the car right now. D, whoever caused all this must have been trying to get the park to close down or something. Hey look, it's another hair razor card. And I think it's from the hair razor. I think Mr. Incredible is taking it back to the ride station. Murray, I think you should give Rich a call. Good idea, Jeff. Hello, what's wrong, Rich? Me and the other movers got off the hair razor and we were sent flying up into the air and the track was broken. I think it was Super Y Fan 66. Wait, it must be him. He's the one who cut it in line for the ride. Can I speak to Murray? Sure, Smitty. He'll put him on the phone. Murray, can I tell you something? Yes, Smitty. Go ahead. It was Super Weef in 66 who derailed the track, and the track pointed up into the sky, and we were flying so fast, but luckily, Violet saved us before we crashed. What? Let me hang up, Smitty. It was Super Y Fan 66 who derailed the track. Attention everyone. If you're about to ride the hair razor, don't ride it because it's derailed. Instead, let's all rail and bark the ship. Let's go there right now. I wonder where every unit might look at the trends of the ship. Maybe they might be. Uh huh, there you are. We caught you. It turned out you were the one sending us flying into the air, weren't you? We're going to talk to Matt about what you did to the right. I agree with the other movers. Me too. Me three. We're still waiting for Warehouse Mouse, Spike, Matt, Incredibles World, Amy, Lulu, Sonic, Tails, and the Humane 7 and they are coming real soon. Ah, this is the life. It's my phone. I'll get it. Who is it, Morgan? Hello? Hello. I'm escaping. Is this Morgan? Yes. And I'm just with Marissa relaxing and Incredibles comedian is at the water's line. Anyways, how may I help you, Amy? I'm just with Lulu and Matt's friends. We're just about to get back on the ship. But you are not going to believe what Super Y Fan 66 did. What did he do? He derailed the track on the hair razor because he wanted the imagination movers to scream their heads off while they're on the ride. What? He derailed the track on the hair ride? Oh my gosh. He's gonna get his sixth strike. So is it okay if I meet you and Lulu near the entrance of the ship? Yes. That would be great if you meet me and Lulu near the entrance. Okay, I'll be there when you girls are about to re-embark the ship. Bye. Bye. Can you please tell me who it is? I got a call from Amy and she said that Super Y Fan 66 derailed the track at the Hair Razor at Ocean Park because he wants to see the looks on the imagination movers faces when they fly off the track. Did he? Oh my god. He's in big trouble. He's gonna get his sixth strike, and he's halfway to get grounded. Right Morgan? Right Marissa. But wait, where's Incredibles Comedian? I'm back guys. Pods for everyone, oh boy. Thanks Incredibles Comedian, you're welcome. I got a raspberry lemonade. And I got a fruit fusion. And, I'll drink mine as well. Oh, I know what flavor this is. It's orange mango. Those, Those were, were the, the best, best pods, pods flavors, flavors in the entire, in the entire universe. universe. I'm glad you guys like them. We, we sure, sure do. do. But I got a phone call from one of my girls. Amy, she said that Super Y Fan 66 derailed the track on the hair razor. What? Oh my gosh. That is the worst thing that Super Y Fan 66 had done at Ocean Park. I know, right? He should wait patiently in lines next time instead of derailing the track. That's right, Morgan. He needs to learn how to behave in lines. But I wonder what he's up to. Super Y Fan 66, have you lost your mind? You derailed the track on the hair razor and made the imagination movers scream their heads off while they're on the ride. Why did you do that? Because I wanted to see the looks on their face when they fly to the skate. What? Are you serious? 
You really want to derail the track so you can try and kill the imagination movers? That's it! That's a six pack! You're halfway to get grounded! So you better lose six more! Understand? Yes, incredible plus world! I'm sorry for destroying the track everybody! I want to do it again! Oh, good, but you have to be patient in line next time! I agree with Sonic. Okay, Incredibles World. That reminds me, we have a song called Line Cutter. That's right, Rich. First, he cut in line. And then he used his superpowers to destroy the hair razor track. We still need to teach you this song, how troublemaker. Let's hit it. get back on the ship now. So, far ahead is where they get back on the ship, right Marissa? Yes Morgan. This is where they re-embark the ship. But we have to wait for your girls to get back on the ship. Yeah, and um, I think they're on their way now. As you know, we are the Wiggles, the children's band with no need for introduction. You guys might have met us on the Symphony Cruise. We sure did. We've become incredibly popular and iconic over our 31 years of creating entertainment for kids. The Wiggles as a band has been around since 1991, but I am the only original Wiggle left in the current lineup. The others being Tay Hawkins, Lockie Gillespie, and Simon Price. However, with the popularity and numerous releases of content over the years, you know not everything can be preserved which creates lost media. There's a lot of lost media, ranging from TV pilots to concert specials and honestly, so much of this stuff seems like it deserves its own video. In 2003, our band formed in New Orleans, Louisiana, and we debuted on Playhouse Disney in 2008. And when you guys debuted on there, we essentially got kicked off the channel and we were given to Sprout, a PBS on kids channel. But rather than airing the full 22 minute Disney episodes, each one of your episodes was cut down to about 12 minutes and changed some of your content which extended the overall episode count of the series to 52 instead of 26. I kind of find these alternate versions very hard to find, with the majority of them still being lost and several other edited seasons having even less information available. The original unedited episodes and remixes can not be viewed, which makes fans want to find them. When it comes to lost media, it doesn't really matter how redundant the search might seem. 
As long as there are people who want to preserve the history of a series, then the topic becomes worth finding. I'm sure someone out there grew up with the Sprout versions of the Wiggles. I wonder who it might be. How was the ride girls? We didn't even go on the ride. Because the track on the hair razor is derailed. I almost forgot. But what about Super Wife Fan 66? He's going to get his sixth strike. He's got it already. Oh, that's right. Um, can me and Lulu spend the rest of the day at the pool deck with you guys? Um, yes. You girls may. Yay. Yay. But we have to get changed first. We'll be back, Morgan. Okay, but meet us there. spend the rest of the day with the three of you. Yeah. Yay. It's good to have you girls here to spend the rest of the day swimming here on the pool deck. This would be better than yesterday because of all the incidents that happened. I know. That's the last of them. Did Sonic say he's got a ship made of popcorn kernels? Oh boy. Ah, this is the life. I really enjoyed here on Wonder. Me too. Me three. Well, if it isn't Super Y Fan 66, the user that Matt created. Yes. He created me. What have you got there? It's some popcorn kernels that Sonic delivered. Are you talking about Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes. But I'm just going to the Wonder Place game. Wait, you're not a kid. Hey. Is that an earthquake? I don't think so, Murray. Look, there's some cock cord. Let's go get some. It's coming from the hot tub. What a mess. Somebody has to clean this all up. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh my goodness. You got red spots all over you. Somebody spilled popcorn kernels into the solarium pool. I think the popcorn spiller was none other than Super Y Fan 66. You know what? I think you're right. What's going on here? We heard that you were about to go to the Wonder Place Kid when you knocked over the box of popcorn kernels and poured them into the hot tub. Is this true? Yeah. You are now on your seventh strike. If you lose five more, you're grounded. I think we better head to the dining room for dinner. And afterwards, Greg will do a magic show. Now my next trick will be... Sorry, I've got something important to do. Haven't got time. Just take over for me. Oak, we're going to change the color scheme of the Abukfaidu logo. How about we change the color scheme to different My Little Pony characters? Good idea, but first we need a volunteer for this next trick. We're thinking someone who met Creeded. Maybe you can get my hands on the one. I know that guy. He's a fan of Super Y. Far away. Thanks Twilight and Fluttish Eye for taking over for me. It's not what I planned, but you taught Super Warfan 66 a good lesson and your magic is impressive. Here's your wand back. Oh boy. Now for some fun. Whoa, I am floating. so small. My hair is acting like a mohawk and getting taller. I think I'm okay. Smitty, look up. What? A flower is growing out of my hat. 
Now that was one of our stories on our Imagination Movers Playhouse Disney website. It sure was, Rich. I think it was the one about your missing drumsticks. That's funny. The legs on our skivvies disappeared and my skivvy is a marigold color. Hey Wiggles. Now we're in our clothes that we were originally going to wear and wake up Jeff. Now I'm wearing my green polo shirt. And now we're in our 1996 clothes. Hey Wiggles, your skivvies seem to be missing their log ghosts. Yeah, you're right. And now they're the 1996 color scheme. Now it's the unused wake up Jeff clothes. Hey, where's my wand? I don't know, Greg. It was here a minute ago. Super Y Fan 66. What's that behind your back? That's Greg's magic wand. Hand it over, Super Y Fan 66. Hey, what happened here? Super Fan 66 stole my wand and made everyone go crazy. Not only that, he also changed people's appearances, including us. You have gone way too far this time. Do you know what you get for doing all this magic? Oh, I get my eight strike. That's right. You now have eight strikes in your strike status. You only have four strikes left, so be careful, because you've just broke 200 in your bowling game. Oh, Jeff. I want stuff like that again. Greg, would you mind changing everyone back to normal before we go to bed? Certainly. That should be it. Good night, everyone. at the door. It's Marissa. With Matt. Hello, Hello Morgan. Morgan. Are you and your girls ready to go to the pool deck? Oh yes. I'll get my girls. Amy, Lulu, Matt and Marissa are here. So let's get going. We're coming, We're coming Morgan. Morgan. They'll be coming with us. Alright, let's go. Yay. Follow me girls. Hi Marissa. Hi, Matt. Hi, Hi Amy and Lulu. Lulu. Hey, wait for us. Kick off your shoes, pour me a drink. The sun is hot, good times are free. Pack up the car, let's hit the road. Turn up the bass, it's time to go. Everybody needs a little vacation. Get away I'm gonna throw my phone
perfect storm sure was fun, wasn't it B1? It sure was B2. It's even better than the one on Symphony of the Seas. Well, I wonder where the teddies are. I have no idea B2. Maybe they're at the arcade or somewhere on the pool deck. Okay. Not on pool deck? I should probably take a half an hour nap. Wake up, Super Y fan. What? What do you want, Crazy Plus Swirl? I received a phone call from Sonic the Hedgehog. He said that you lose four strikes on the pool deck. First, you pushed Jeff off the flow rider while he was surfing. Second, you poured acid in the water and made the pool toxic. Third, you pushed Rarity in the water because you wanted her to go swimming. And fourth, you played Roots Valid on the band stereo on the top volume and hurt everyone's ears. That's it. Do you know what that means? Does that mean I'm grounded? That's right. You are now grounded 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 forever. As your punishment, you're coming with me on the big foot pass. Let's go. But it's 11.30 p.m. It doesn't matter. You still need to be punished from this behaving on wonder and disease. All right, Super Y fan, let's go. But Incredibles World, the Bigfoot Pass opens at 9 a.m. and closes at 5 p.m. Yeah, and you're doing it now. Since it's closed, there are no ropes, but they'll come back when it's open. So let's go. It's nighttime at every but no. now. Falling, falling. <laughs> Whoa. What a crazy nader. Time to sell some CDs. Are you kidding? Roderick, you can't play your music that loud. Are you mad who invited us on this trip? Mr. Helfley, it's good to see you, and I was just getting you guys some hot chips. Thanks, Matt. But we have to see Manny at the Wonder Playscape. We'll catch you later. Didn't you guys leave a swimming bag in your room? Oh no! Where's the swimming bag? You're the one who's supposed to bring that. The rest of our swimming stuff is in our room, that includes our goggles. Yes, you'll get my bag right now. If you don't, since mum and dad are gone, I'm going to throw you, literally, overboard. Unless you go get the bag, and chop chop. And leave your chips here otherwise you'll spill it. Baby hippo! You're gonna have to come out sometime, loser. I'll wait here, as long as it takes. And then, you're done. Why hmm? I smell something delicious. I smell some hot chips. Hey! Somebody left me some hot chips. I think these are my chips. Excuse me. Are these your chips? No. Uh -huh. Me. No. That's Greg's chips. Put it down and stop eating it. Super Y fan, I'm serious. Stop. Do I have to call Matt?
Are you serious right now Super Y fan? How dare you eat all of Greg's chips? Those chips are not yours. That's it. What's the matter Holly? Well Rolly, you're not going to believe what Super Y fan 66 did. He ate all of Greg's chips. He did what? Super Wii Fan 66, I can't believe you ate all of my best friend's chips. That's it. Can you please give Greg a phone call? Sure thing, Rolly. No, please. No, please. No, please. Don't. Well, right. No, it's too late. Hello, Greg. Hello, Holly. How may I help you? I know you're getting a swimming bag from our room, but I just want to let you know that Super Y Fan 66 ate all of your chips when he came to me. Super Y Fan 66 did what? He ate all of your chips. He ate all of my chips. Oh no. I don't believe this. He's going to get another strike. We'll be there in a minute. Okay, Greg. But if you want to, you can bring Matt with you. Um, I think he's with Marissa at the Windjammer Marketplace. Oh, okay. I'll see you when you get there. Bye. Bye. I can't believe that Super Y Fan 66 would do such a thing like that to my chips. Let's see if I can catch up to the pack! Go on, Tails! Drive faster! I've gone power up. You might make great use of it, Ojo. Oh, you get it if you're having a tough time in the race. Oh! Ojo's catching up because of that power up! Go on, Joe! Uh, you're catching up to Tails! I'm now in first place. Keep it up! Here we go! Let's see if I can get a Mario plush. Here I go. Oh no! Dave, it's your turn. Hi there, Smitty. Hi, Dave. Hi, Nina. Hey there, Nina. What are you two up to? Me and Dave are playing a claw machine and getting plush toys. Wow. That looked like fun to me. I was trying to get the Mario plush, but the claw didn't work. So I gave Dave a turn because I gave up. That's okay, Smitty. But if something goes wrong, don't give up. Just go on. Okay, Nina. I will give up. I can go on. Where are you? But I have to wait for Dave to be finished. Hey, Smitty. I finally got a Mario plush. Well done, Dave. You got the Mario plush toy. Good work. I'll go and see what Rich and Scott are up to. Have fun, Nina. Super Y Fan 66, what is the matter with you? My chips were right here, then it's gone. You ate all of my chips. How dare you? Guess what you are getting. Oh! My ninth strike! That's right. Your ninth strike. You got it now. You have three more to get grounded. So, be careful. Yeah, three more. You'll be grounded. And another thing, Troublemaker. You do not eat all of my friend's chips. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Greg, for eating all of your chips. I hope this never, ever, ever, ever happens again. Now leave. Greg, we are sorry about what happened to your chips. That's okay. I wish this never happens again. I hope not too. These are my chips. Would you like to share some with me to make you feel better? Sure, because I'm your friend. Ah, and I'm your friend too. Come sit next to me. Now I can finally change since I now have the swimming bag. It's good to share with you, Holly. Yeah, and it's great to be friends, and sharing is caring. That was nice of Holly and Greg. Who? Me? Not exactly. It's Greg Heffalai sharing chips with Holly Hills. I feel so happy for them since they get to go on a cruise ship holiday together. Good thing we have our instruments with us so we can play some happy music for them. When we get to the bleachers, look out for a sitting astro board.
What should I do now? I found some ice tea. That's pretty high. Are you talking to yourself? No, of course not. Yeah, you were. You were talking to yourself because you're scared. I'm not scared. That's crazy. You don't understand what I was doing because you're just a little kid. Then go. the courage to jump on the high dive, but I think there is a movie playing in a half hour. Okay guys, since Yo Gabba Gabba fan 49 new TTP ruined the last basketball game, it is up to you guys to make sure Super Wife fan 66 doesn't do the same thing. We will not need an anthem because we don't have any spectators and it is daytime. Let's start off with a game mode, I like to call, Gladiator. I've got this one. Yeah. Covalent. We're never going to be able to outplay these guys. We don't have to play the card on it. Besides, we're winning by our boss.
well well, if it isn't Looney Tunes. The characters that have to do with basketball, or in other words, Space Jam. Why do you even have our instruments in the first place? Because we are into a squad that had to do with our film. How did you guys even bring them over from the band stage? We thought it'd be cool. That is not an excuse. We use those instruments to perform our songs. They can get damaged if a basketball hits them. We are sorry, Gregor. We promise we we'll listen to everyone from now on. What are you gonna do with those? Don't worry, you can go do other things, but not anything that's wrong. Do you understand? Yes, Greg, we promise. It's another nice day to just relax in the pool and enjoy my summer. Attention guests. Wonder of the Seas will now be playing Spider-Man No Way Home near the pool deck. I hope you enjoy the movie. Did you hear that? Spider-Man No Way Home is playing at the beach pool. Let's watch it, since Super Y-Fan 66 is not around. Looks like this movie is going to be interesting. You can say that again, Matt. I don't think I've seen this one. I think you'll really like it, Morgan. I agree with Emma. There will be significant casualties. Do it! Execute them all! I'm going to pour iced tea in the pool so it will be dirty. And then Virion will stop watching the movie. How? 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 controversial news website, the Daily Bugle.net. There you have it, folks. Conclusive proof that Spider-Man was responsible for the brutal murder of Mysterio, an interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet, and who will no doubt go down in history as the greatest superhero oh of all Oh my goodness, time. the cool water is dirty. All, folks, How did this happen? Real I saw who it was. Yourselves, it was Super Y-Fan 66. He poured iced tea in the water to make the pool dirty and wanted us to stop watching the movie. Matt, you should give Super Y-Fan 66 his 10th strike. I will, but we will miss the entire movie. I'm sorry folks, but the pool on the left of the screen is now closed due to dirty water. It is not fair to those watching on the right so we decided to stop the movie. We'll hope this never happens again. Now let's go after Super Weef in 66. Ha ha! Ha ha! What's a hilarious prank? Oh no! I'm busted! Super Wife in 66. Not again. You made us stop watching the movie. By pouring iced tea. Are you serious? First you poured cheese curls, then popcorn kernels, and now iced tea. What are we going to do now? Do you know what this means? Did I receive my 10th straight? That's right. Two more and you're grounded. Yeah. Two more, you'll be grounded. So be careful. I'm sorry, Vario. I want this again. And not just that, we will be taking you on some attractions for the rest of the day. Do you understand? Yes, Morgan. Understand. Hey Marissa, do you know what time it is? It's 5 p.m. How about we head to the arcade? I heard that Sonic, Tails, Bear, and Ojo are there. Yes we can. 
Well I'll just head back to the cabin and get ready because we're gonna have dinner in the main dining room after the arcade. And after dinner, we will head over to Studio B to skate dance. Oh fantastic. I'll see you just before dinner. Okay Morgan. I'll see you with your girls later. I'll just go and have a shower in my cabin first. It's nice swimming in the pool on a summer Friday afternoon. I agree. I know right? Shall we get some dinner soon? It's already 5 p.m. Okay. okay. Super Y Fan 66, are you behaving? Yes, I'm behaving myself. Why did you ask? I'm just wondering. And you better not lose two more strikes or you will be grounded. Oh, I don't understand. I will not miss their very. Good. Anyways, we better get to the main dining room to have dinner and we will have a dance at Studio B. But except we will be skating, and I hope you won't eat other people's food, especially chips. I won't steal anyone's food this time. Alright, let's go. The spec had to test the best. Well, this chili dog also tasted good. You should also try this delicious steak. This pizza also tastes delicious. Okay, kids. What do you? We want to fight bad guys. Fight bad guys? I thought superheroes were illegal. Why can't we just take a break? Well, this next song is a slow song that might make some of you fall asleep, but it is a went down of what happened today. I think you've all heard what happened, and it was all because of someone that Matt created, so Matt, would you tell them who it was? It was Super Y Fan 66 that lost 10 stripes on this holiday, and we want you all to take a breather and listen to this song. Thank you Matt, so then I'll sing my slow skate song, Loving Arms. could see me now The one who said that he would rather roam The one who said he'd rather be alone If you could only see me now If I could hold you now Just for a moment, if I could really make you mine Just for a while, turn back the hands of time If I could only hold you now Well, I've been too long in the wind Too long in the rain Taking any comfort that I can Looking back and longing for the freedom of my chains And lying in your loving arms again Yeah. 
your loving arms again Well I can't wait to feel your loving arms again And I can almost feel your loving arms again For the next song, I would like to have all the ABC for Kids characters sing Living on a Prayer by Ben Jevitt. Since the other Wiggles aren't available for instruments, I would also like the imagination movers on front. We're coming. And so are we. But we forgot our dress outfits. That's okay. That's us, but we're already on the ring. Come on, movers. We've got a song to perform. That was one of the songs that played on my Hershey trip when I was in year 8. On ladies too. On the dance. Speed. On strike. He's down. On he's black. It's dance. So dance. Gina looks the diner all day. Working for a uh, man. She brings home her life. Yeah. Oh man. Jesus, we got a whole part. Two what? Oh my God, it doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. The return and that's a lot. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Where? Way there. Three on a way. Two hands. We'll make it. I swear. I don't understand why I was put between Dax 4 and 5. I cannot hear anything. I've been here for almost two hours. Hope you've all enjoyed the dance. But before we leave, we better wake Jeff up. Ready everyone? One, two, three. Wake, wake up, up Jeff. Jeff. B -r, 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 r R. I was falling asleep the whole time. We were just on the skating rink having our dance. We even saw the Equestria girls there. I didn't even know what happened. Matt, push that button. Sure thing me. <laughs> Thank you.
Isn't that Super Y Fan 66? I think you're right, Morgan. He's hanging on the acrobat swing. And the string is just hanging and he can't get down. Oh no, I'm stuck. How am I supposed to get down? <laughs> What's so funny? Super Y Fan 66 is hanging on the acrobat string. I can't look at this any longer. What if something happens to him? Man, would you mind doing something with the string? Okay, we have to use some scissors and a ladder somehow. He has two more strikes left. If he loses them, he will be grounded. Right, Matt? Right, Incredibles World. But he was only two. He is a third through his tenth frame. Now to throw the ninja star. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Let's get you situated and then we have to go to sleep soon. Okay, Matt. Well, guys, tomorrow is going to be a really big day for all of us. So what things do you have in mind? We're going to another water park, similar to Code Co. K, except it's not as exciting. Who's going to watch Super Weef in 66 tomorrow? I think Mr. Incredible should keep an eye on him if we're busy. We better head to bed because we have another big day tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Hey, where's Super Y Fan 66? Shouldn't he be here? Oh, well, I think he'll come later. Go, let's go. It's Friday. Action! Action! <laughs> wait, 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 uh -oh. Saturday, yes! And here is the man who does it. Yes. Well, they said to me that it was a little midget, but we knew better. I have been wondering how those lift tiles changed for the whole trip. Never have we on this holiday seen something like that. We have a song just for you about the days of the week. Let's perform it for you. How's your holiday? Good. Thank you. Great. Looks like we'll be taking the stairs up to our room due to the lift maintenance. See you next time, guys. Guys! Look! 
It's the elevator! Come on, Ovain Delos, everyone. We're climbing up the elevator shaft. It's now past midnight. Buzz! Why not just ride it? They just changed the days of the week and the elevators aren't on, so we'll just climb up to our room. That's Woody! Ow. This way! Buzz, can you see what's going on? What are we gonna do, Buzz? Let's fall. Guys, it's great to have you guys back in the cabin. We haven't seen you all day. Well, it's because Captain Feather Sword fell asleep behind the wheel, so I steer the ship. While Rix was navigating, me and him and Slinky were pressing on the gas and brake pedals. We were on deck too. As soon as we saw the Imagination Boovers go back to their room, the lift guy fell asleep. So we had to find a way to climb up to the room. Luckily, we found a vent that led to the right room. There was a chance we could have ended up in the wrong room. Well, I'm glad you're all safe and sound. We all better hit the heat so we can have an early start tomorrow. I really wish I didn't go on this tree. I have caused too much trouble for a very Why did Mad take me hide in the first place? Super and 66, why are you still out on the pool deck? Shouldn't you be safe in your cabin? Get lost to find Fox. Leave me alone. <coughs> Sheesh for a super villain like him. He doesn't seem to understand what he's doing at this time of night. Well, I might as well make my way back to the others. Nobody likes me. Every face. I'm a selfish, greedy jerk. I might as well enjoy night while it lasts. Hey guys, we have one more day on our holiday. We are in Macau, and we will be getting off the ship. How about we go to Studio City Water Park? Great idea, Incredibles World. Maybe we should go on water slides. Because if there are, Super Wife Fan 66, you better not injure people that are stuck just like you did the other day. Okay, Incredibles Comedian. Hopefully this goes better than when we went to Coca K and Ocean Park. Then let's get off. What's this on the news? Oh my gosh, what happened this time? Breaking news to you this morning, a black and white orca drowned underwater after ingesting a water bottle cap that was shot out of a water bottle overboard wonder of the seas after having accumulated lots of other waste in its body. What do you think of this, Greg? I think it's really sad to know that an orca died by ingesting a cap. I've almost been in that situation myself due to cardiac arrest. I'm so sorry that happened to you. At least you're okay now, right? I sure am. The other Greg might need to speak with you for a moment. The death of the Orca made me really feel sad on this holiday we were supposed to enjoy. And I'm here comforting Greg so he can at least make the best of this trip while it's still here. I see you two are trying to enjoy your summer. It is winter at our home base, so first it's like having two summers. Oh no, I can't look. I know it's so sad. But we just have to make the best of it. It might have been a cap polluted from the ship into the ocean. And pollution is not acceptable on this holiday. Someone must have shot a cap off a water bottle because I heard it last night and it woke me up in the middle of the night. And I think it was by twisting an empty waiter bottle, but we're sunset. I think she might be at the news already, but it makes me sad that the orchid drone underwater. I'm sure you'll be out the rest of your trip. Roly, wake up. You don't know what's on the news. How come I wasn't woken up earlier? So you would get enough sleep for another big day. And Greg was even brave enough to bring Holly with him to the interview. So a Norke drowned by ingesting a water bottle cab that I think came from one of the Elias water bottles, because those were the bottles that were in our room when we arrived. Super Y Fan 66, do you have anything to do with an orca ingesting a water bottle cab? What's going on? What do you mean what's going on? We just saw the news on what happened last night, and we know you didn't come back to the room until 2 a.m. There's no way fake the orc to the cap! 
I didn't even know it was a vendor in the first place. Were you the one that shot the cap overboard? Because I can just check to see if there is a twisted bottle on the top deck. You will never find one there. You can save yourself some trouble by telling us the truth, or you get your 11th strike. You better tell the truth, or else. Cheech! Knock my pee out! I'm positive that I had nothing to do with the orchid running! Good one, Matt. Okay, we believe you, but don't cause any more trouble. Let's get going now. Look out! Look out! Watch those kids when they need the water. Look out! And dams and lakes. Gotta keep watch. Or wherever there's any water. Gotta, gotta keep, keep watch. watch. And shut the gate. Gotta keep watch. With the magnetic latch. Look up. Look out. Watch those kids when they're near the water. Look up. Look out. Keep it safe and shut the gate. Gotta keep watch. We love the summer. Gotta keep watch. We love the water Gotta keep watch So don't forget Gotta, gotta keep, keep watch And shut the gate Look out Look out Watch those kids when they're near the water Look out Look out Keep it safe and shut the gate Look out Look out Watch those kids when they're near the water Look out Safe and shot the gate. Look up. Ha 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 ha. I got you. Ha ha ha. I got you too. Super Y Fan 66. We're going to be at the Splash Zone. Care to join us? No, Cricket Bluffs World. Because the squirt is. will squirt right in my face. Very well then. Take care of yourself. Hey Super Y Fan 66, care to go on the water slides with us? No thank you teddies, because I'm afraid that there might be people that get stuck. That's true, but that doesn't always happen. I don't care, any. Very well then, good luck. Oh, why? Entire truckload of spray paint cans. This could fun, but they might get suspicious, so. I've got to get my painting robots to the art show. Ah, oh, I was them to do my work while I stay at Wonder of the Sea. 20 minutes later. Jet set, jet set, Groovy! Jet set radio! Low robots! Let's do graffiti all over Wonder of the Sea. Affirmative. There, that should do it. Hey, who painted that? Whoever painted that must have had a strong interest. Get it? Tara Strong? You mean Twilight Sparkles actress? Yes, that's right. Oh, cheese and whiskers. You called? No, I said that because of the bad image of me. The graffiti makes you look like you've gone into like rat again. Hey, is that us dressed as Peely's in Fortnite? I think you're right, B1. But I think Peely ripped off the anthropomorphic banana because bananas in pajamas started in 1992 and Fortnite came out with the Peely Battle Pass skin in 2019. More like Peelies in pajamas. Hey, is that us dressed as cuddle team leaders? I think you're right, Morgan. We're Fortnite skins. Ah, My Little Pony graffiti. Oh no! What is it, Sonic? That graphic shows me encouraging people to do the wrong things I talked about in Sonic says I meant to teach them it's wrong, especially ones like limping in clothes, dryers, smoking, alcohol, and inappropriate touching. Not teaching people to break the law or do very dangerous things. 
Oh no! What is it? Let me see! No, do you remember Wonder Robotic Sid snoping as Uli C and Amin was made out of part of the line? Yes, I do! Well, it's actually a root image of your robotic relating to this meme, and how should I describe it? It's something that would definitely lose a pig rating. Hey, what's this? Graffiti. Come on, kids. We're about to go to the arcade. Hey, who did this? I bet it was that guy who scared me by pranking people about eels in the wave pool. Don't you mean Super Y Fan 66? Yeah, he's the one. Super Y Fan 66. Get over here right now. What is it? Did you paint graffiti all over the ship? Yeah, I did. You are now on your 11th strike. If you lose your last strike, you're grounded. Oh, I will be careful. Let's all now get back on the ship, but someone is going to have to erase that graffiti later on. We're about to be sailing again after we have dinner tonight. It feels like a peaceful sailing. It sure does, Brozone. Now that's how you enjoy your summer. Except it's a celebration of summer in America. In which American students are supposed to go to fun places and enjoy themselves when they are off of school. I've always wanted to go to all sorts of places over the years, but I haven't had the chance to until just recently. That was a great way to kick off summer holidays when there's no school. But I think we should put our belongings on the bus just in case Wonder gets destroyed. Good idea. We'll all take turns with keeping an eye on Super Y Fan 66. Oh, great. I'm going to be stuck with Craig Blossom. Playing security guard. Don't even think about it. Oh, come on. Johnson and friends got away. But that sort of thing. I don't care. I can't do much while being hentucked to Sharon, buddy. I know. I'll pick the lock and sneak to the arcade. I wonder where Super Y Fan 66 is. I think he picked the lock on the handcuffs and snuck to the arcade. I bet he's going to bang on one of the machines once he loses. Come on, Matt. We've got to find Super Y Fan 66. Okay, we'll find him as soon as possible. I wonder if Super Y Fan 66 changes his behavior. He better change it or else he will be in big trouble. If he improves his behavior, it's just like not knocking down all the pins on the 12th ball. There is only one way to bowl any score over 290. You would need to start the game with 11 consecutive strikes and your total score would depend on your last roll. Did you know that the rarest ever score in bowling is 292? Because a 2 count is the hardest to get with 10 pins standing. The only way to bowl a 291 is 11 strikes and a mech. Not to be confused for mech from family guy. No pun intended. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Luckily Roadhouse Mouse, Mina and Nipnots have evacuated safely and they're already on the bus. Let's get going. Oh no! Come on girls! We better get out of here! Fluttershy? Are you alright? No, I sprained my ankle. Don't worry, I got you! Is that everybody? No, there. There's still more characters coming. Wait, we're Super Y-Fan 66. We're missing him. We can't just leave him behind. You're right, Frozone. I will go in and look for him. If you do, be careful, Matt. The fire is going to destroy the whole ship any minute now. Okay, we'll go. Did you pack everything up? Yes, we have, Drake. We better hurry to the bus before the ship explodes. You're too right, Jeff. But now is not the best time for sleeping. We need to evacuate as quickly as possible. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here now. We go. This is serious. Come on, let's go. Oh boy, wait for us, Riddles. This fire is too hot. It will burn my electronic parts. We must run, run, run away! The sooner we escape, the better. We must get off the ship and get to safety. I'm so glad this stinky trip is over. Is that everybody? That's not everyone. We're still missing several people, including Super Y Fan 66. Why did we even have to come along on this trip in the first place? Why couldn't we just convince Matt to let us stay back home instead? Because James, Matt thought it would be nice if we could tag along for the trip. And we actually sang some songs to keep everyone entertained. Will you guys just stop chit-chatting for crying out loud? We've got to get out of here now. got to get out of here. We better get out of here quick. Let's go. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am B2. It's, it's running, running time. time. Is that everybody? That's not everyone. We're missing somebody. Don't worry, Sonic. Matt went to look for Super Wide Fan 66. I hope he doesn't take too long. Oh, I know I can see you hiding behind those shipping containers. Right. I demand you come out of there this second. You can't stop me. Matt too. You can run, but you can't hide. There you are, you two. We're just about to leave the port. Okay, Bear. That's everyone. Wait! The bus has left us behind. Not on our watch, because I have a plan to stop it. On the bus. Super Y Fan 66. Why did you do this? Do what? You were the one who blew up the ship. Banging on the ski bell in frustration is not an excuse. There. Stop the bus! How can I help you, Giz? You forgot about us. What do you five want? Please let us in that. We are begging you. You can't just abandon us at the explosion site. Will you let us in the bus, please? 
Ugh. All right, all right. I guess there's plenty of room in the back. Aw, thanks so much, bro. You're the best. I've really gotta do something about those guys. Now is that everyone? Yes, Pear. Now, that's everyone. But, I didn't do anything. Shut up. This explosion almost killed everybody who was trying to escape from the huge flames that are spreading. As I was asking everyone who caused the ship on fire, they all said it was you who blew up the ship. Look at them right now, because they're all staring at you for what you did. Thanks a lot, Super Wife and 66. You ruined everything. You didn't listen to us when we were looking after you. Do you know how long it will take to rebuild the ship? Now two Oasis class ships are now under construction. Way to go, Super Wife Fan 66. You ruined this holiday. First, you have lost your strikes and all your frames by doing the wrong things, and now you blew the entire ship up. You have just bowled a perfect 300 on this holiday that we planned. When we get back to Govio, you'll be grounded. You will get a punishment from each one of the people who came to Wonder of the Seas. We're lucky we got all our belongings on the bus. Well that's it, our voyage aboard Wonder of the Seas. Although it was ruined by Super Y Fan 66, at least he got what he deserved. It's over already. Well Brazoni, that's the thing about endings. They come at the end. Let's watch it again. Marissa, we just saw it. Maybe tomorrow. I really hope you all enjoyed our Wonder of the Seas holiday. But this doesn't end here. We have a lot going on. We'll be partying all night. That's right, Sonic. What is all this going on? There must be a gathering. It looks like we're just getting this party started. Hey, I brought lots of sushi. Churros and caramel sauce. Popcorn with lots of butter. Sodas. Patties. Party pies. Meatballs and toasted sandwiches. Lots of spaghetti and vocals. Rosy tea and biscuits. Fruit salad. Come on, game. It's coming. I got my apple pie. pie. Who invited all these people? I guess they would probably see this thrill a party. Looks like we have our band formations lined up. That's right. On behalf of the Goville gang, we'd like to thank everyone, especially the bands, for coming on this trip. Let's hear it for the three dudes. Never get so imagination movers. Let's hear it for Big Time Rush. As well as the rainbows. And finally, the surprise band of them all, the Wiggles. Nice. Y'all call it a moment. I call it life. One day while the light is glowing, I'll be in my castle golden. But until the gates are open, I just want to feel this moment. Oh, oh, I just want to feel this moment. Oh, Tokyo, long way from them hallways. It was O's and OYs. They counting always. Real fat all day. Now, baby, we can parlay. Oh, baby, we can party. She read books, especially about red rooms and tie ups. I got her hooked. Cause she see me in a suit with a red tie tied up. Big thing, it's nice to meet you. But time is money. Only difference is I own it. Now, let's stop time and enjoy this moment. One day, one day, it is glow. I'll be in my castle golden But until the gates are open I just wanna feel this moment oh, I just wanna feel this 
Enjoy this moment, darling. One day while my light is glowing, I'll be in my castle golden. But until the gates are open, I just want to feel this moment. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. I just want to feel this moment. Oh, oh, oh. I just want